Hello and welcome again to another edition of The Average Guys. Not just another edition of The Average Guys, but the 400th edition of The Average Guys. And I'm Johnny D, and with me is, for 400 other times, <coughs> Kenny K. Johnny. All right. Unreal. I mean, here we are down at Carmody's Irish Pub. Eddie Gleason invited us to come down and take part in this. And for you sitting at home, we're going to record up to two hours. Just sit back, take a seat. We got some guests lined up in the back of the bar ready to come on. And uh, Kenny, we're going to have a blast tonight, brother, down at Carmody's Irish Pub. The boxers are here, John. Horton's Jim brought down the boxers. The shoreman brought down the players. Yeah. We're expecting a visit from Mayor Don Ness and a yeah. whole lot yeah. more. So, yeah. Bill said, Walton said he might make it. Uh, Kevin that. McHale said that he was glad we didn't invite him and uh, he wasn't coming anyway. But I tell you what, Kenny, uh, here we are in probably one of the hottest spots in Duluth, just in general, the downtown, East Downtown Superior Street at um, Carmody's Irish Pub. 308 is Superior Street. It's kind of a historic building. This is uh, this is definitely uh, the, the the old, well, I don't know if it's the old Bowery of Duluth, but uh, yeah, yeah. It's not live, it is taped, and this is episode number 400. And like I told Kenny though, I said, you know, I sort of riled up when I got here, you know, just like yeah. sort of freaking out, you know, and I said, Kenny, 400 almost feels like number one. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just yeah. sort of like rushing out, and you know, it's like, yeah. and it's just you, the viewers, that make this all possible. Yeah. Last night, Kenny, I had my boys, we're up at Holiday, up on Kenwood yeah. and Arrowhead, and this woman with gray hair, she's filling up her truck, and she looks, and she goes, you are the guys on TV, and she looked like a professional woman. I said, yeah, and you know, and she goes, I love your show, I watch it every weekend, and so you know who you are. Yeah. I was going to invite her down here, but she must have paid at the pump, you know, and so it's people like that that you see that you just never give props to on the yeah. on camera. Yeah. And that's what makes us do this show and keep going is yeah. people say they enjoy it. Well, you know, we get a ton of emails and unfortunately we don't talk about them as often as we used to because uh, it just it's just something that gets overlooked, I think, from time to time. But there's a lot of people out there that email us on a regular basis. Troy, uh, Keith, uh, you know, the names aren't at the top of my head right now, but uh, there's a guy from Duluth who's living in St. Louis and he watches us online. His name is Vinny. So Vinny, thanks man. It's pretty cool. And the, and the thing is, you know, for you viewers who have maybe caught us from number 214 up to 400, you know, 10 years ago, going ten, December 11th of this upcoming December will be 10 years, a 10 year anniversary of the average guys. So we'll have another party then. And um, just oh, no. the summer, the summer of 88, I approached Kenny Dunn at Wheeler Field and I said, Kenny, I got an idea for a show. And Kenny wasn't too sure about it and he said, well, I said no, but the thing is, is Pat just asked me. Pat the Packer fan is here. We'll get to Pat. He said, uh, did you ever think it would last this long? And I said, I, I didn't think it would ever start. <laughs> well, you know, it took us a while to get through the because classes. The first, the first class. Right. Anyways, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And, uh, and it went from my daughter being a year and a half. Now if she was here, uh, she'd be 11 years old. And, you know, it's like she couldn't come tonight because we're in a pub, but, you know. Anyway, we got a lot of people to talk to here, Kenny, and uh, come here, man. Get up here. Let's okay, go. here we go. We got our first one. Johnny, probably well, he was <laughs> one of our first. This is this is Pat Christner, aka Pat the Packer fan, who in the early days of the average guys emailed watched us. emailed us on a regular basis, and we kept reading the emails. Yeah. Hook or by crook. I emailed him back, and as it turns out, his older brother Carl went to graduated with me at Denfeld High School. So it was like, oh, that's the that's the Christner I never met. We invited him onto the set, and um, he stayed with us until he dreadedly found the girlfriend, and then he he took a vacation from us, Ken. Well, he was the alternate uh, average guy uh, early on. And how old were you back in '99 uh, when you were? Joining us uh, on the show. I would have been 16 years old up until I was probably about 18. Wow. So the glory years of my high school years. What do you recall from those days being on the set of the average guys? Uh, lots of good times. The North Shore? Being, oh yeah. I have buddies that talk about that wrestling uh, <laughs> match all the time. It's, it's pretty fun. But yeah. being well, you know, it's still, it still plays. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what I heard. Because <laughs> like I was always going for the bad guy. That, that was, that's what they were making fun of me about. Some, uh, well, I can't remember the names but Pat the Packers fan Brett Favre isn't coming back I still think that Brett Favre is going to come back and play this year uh, he's going to be back you know why he retired wrong 
you can't retire that way. He cried. Up one day and we heard on the radio he retired. He'll be back. What do you think? Brett Favre's done. He watches, he watches those press conferences where he's crying like a little girl, and he wants to redo it over so he can say, okay, that's the way I wanted to no, do it. He retired wrong. No, Brett Favre, he, he's thought about it a lot over the last few years, and I don't see him wavering on his decision. Yeah. I, I watched that press conference. It was a very emotional decision for him, obviously, and I think he's put a lot of thought into it. I mean, he, then he goes out and says, like, if Aaron Rodgers gets hurt, Maybe I'll come back, well, but he opens the door. But it's not going to happen. Well, me and Kenny were talking. Kenny is. called me up one day. We we're talking. He goes, John, after Aaron Rodgers, name me the Packers backup. And I started laughing. I said, I. And then I got on what Kenny was saying. If Rodgers goes down, this is a good nucleus of a team. They don't have a quarterback. And like Brett says, he says, I can still play. I can still throw. I just don't want to. Right. And he he's tired, but at the same time. I, I just don't see him coming back. It's not because he's not able to do it. I mean, I think everyone, he proved last year that he's still at the top of his game. They got a great team, but at the same time, I just don't see that. What he said is that he, he just didn't have the love for the practices every day. And he knows that to be the leader of that team, the way he wants it to be, he needs to be that guy that goes in there every day and puts forth you know, a Brett Favre like performance at practices even. And I don't think he is mentally ready to do that every day. Unless the Packers say we'll cap out and pay you fourteen million dollars, then you'll see him come back in a heartbeat. Thanks, Ed. It's not about Ed. the money to Brett Favre, you know about, that. It always it's come it's on. It's not about the money. You gotta be kidding me. Like the, the million dollar man would say, every man has his price. Come on. I I, uh, I know your politics. It's about the money. All the sports is about the money. Me and Kenny have been talking about it. Look at the twins. Me and my daughter looked at the projected lineup, and my daughter goes, I don't know anybody. I only know Morno, Mauer, and Kadire. And I mean, all those other players, they didn't stick around Minnesota because it wasn't about the money. It's all about the money. Brett, Brett Farr is not coming back. And it won't be in, okay, I won't. Pat. It won't be, I guarantee it won't be in another uniform. No, I, I agree with you. There's no way he'll come back and play for another team. No, no, no. He'll be he the will Packers. be back. However, yeah. I would love to see him come back. He won't be back. Okay. Well, you know, so anyways, do you remember the road show back in the early days of the Average Guys when we met at Elam Church and we drove around and did a whole show? Uh, that was for the parade, right? No, we, oh, no, we got into the car. You sat in the back seat. I drove. John sat in the passenger seat. And we drove around West Duluth. And you filmed from the back. It was inside the car. <laughs> I don't remember that episode. Oh, we'll have to Sorry. pull it out of the classics. I got it, Kenny. You remember the parade. I remember the parade. Yeah, I remember the, the wrestling show. I remember uh, the Chucky Horton Jim show. Okay. Um, there, there was there were some really good ones that you know on location that yeah. I remember. Hey, he's in here and call him Chuck. Well, <laughs> well, you know, Chuck.